comes out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, first of all, welcome back to Fight Island. Uh, at this point, I'm sure you've done a lot of media. Are you tired of uh, journalists and fans asking how you're feeling after your COVID? Feels good, brother. Uh, feels nice, amazing to be here in UFC and fight. And I enjoy with everything that's here. Like, speak with you, speak with people, you know, nice, like that. Your first three fights were so close back to back to back. Has it been difficult mentally just to have to just be forced to sit and watch other people fight and lose out on these, like the Leon Edward fight and all these other opportunities you had because of your health and it was out of your control? Yeah, it was hard, always been hard. I did, I fight only four, four or five years in the MMA. Um, before that, I was watching the fights. That time was also hard. I want to fight always in the UFC. Now I'm here and fight this Saturday. And I'm hungry, more hungry than being because I was outside, out my meat uh, one year. Your opponent, Lee Jiang Ling, did you know much about him before you were offered the fight? Actually, no. I didn't know this guy was in the UFC as well. And uh, when I hear his first name, I'm like, what? I mean, Jing, I can't uh, speak his name as well. Zhang Li, Yang Lang, yeah, something like that. Have you watched any of his fights since you got the fight, or are you just focusing on what I see doing? his uh, highlights, and uh, his highlight against Neil Magny, he lose fight against him, something like that. I doesn't like to rewatch really my opponents. I'm, I'm more focused on what I'm gonna do. I don't think about my fight, no, no, opponents. Uh, like last time I did John go in and smash this guy, don't get the punch. If you focus on what he's gonna do, he's gonna do something. But if you focus on what you're gonna do, you're gonna do everything with him. Did it matter who they offered, you just wanted to fight, it just happened to be him and he's ranked, so you said yes? Of course, of course. For me, it doesn't matter who I rank at or no rank at, and I accept everything. And then this is going to be technically your first fight in the UFC with fans. Your first three fights were kind of in a bubble. Are you looking forward to see, having the full UFC fight week experience finally? For me, it doesn't matter, actually. It's fans, no fans. Cage is cage. For me, they're inside. I feel at home. I'm happy. Enjoy. Yeah. Hamzat, are you officially a welterweight now? No more middleweight? I, I give my word to my coach who will focus on 170 now and uh, take this belt. And after that, we'll jump up and smash somebody there. Why did you think it was important to focus on welterweight for the future? For me, actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a question to my coach. And uh, he said, if you still want to work with me, you have to listen to me and uh, you have to work like team and family. Did it's you ask him why? No, I never asked him why. He just told me do some things and go and do. I believe him and he believed me. Before you got sick, you were fighting all the time, like once every month. Do you plan on fighting that regularly again now that you're back? I hope so. And how many is possible? fight to next year and maybe in this year. Uh, it's up to you, see. Yeah. You were scheduled to fight Leon Edwards, who's up very, very highly ranked. After this fight, do you want to fight someone similar to him, someone at the very top of the division, or are you happy to take your time? I, I hope so, but I don't think these guys want to fight with me <laughs> after this fight. They're going to start to uh, be scared again, like complain, you know, he didn't fight somebody, good guy, blah, blah, blah. And things like that. Yeah, we'll see what's happened after this fight. Who do you think is going to win between Leon Edwards and Jorge Masvidal? I think it will be decision. It's I don't know. It's three rounds or yes. four. Three yeah, rounds. it will be decision. I think. For Leon. Yeah. And what about Kamari versus Colby? I think Kamari actually, and uh, it maybe will be decision if nobody get injured in the fight. <laughs> Nothing special with these guys. Yeah. A wrestler and a little bit stand up. Uh, yeah. So if those two fights are decisions, how does your fight end on Saturday? And I eat him up, like I do always. Nine fights, nine finishes. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, hello, Hamzat. 
So first question is, uh, you, you, you said that you didn't even know about Lee being in the UFC before this fight, but uh, after watching his highlights and getting prepared for this fight, do you think this is the biggest challenge yet in the UFC? No, I don't think so. <sighs> now, uh, before I fight, well, last time I fight Jared Mercer, they say people like, oh, yeah, he had most submissions in the game, just... And always people are going to talk, some, somebody is better than me. And well, I know why well, I'm going to go take his head. Yeah. Okay, and uh, of course, except uh, getting healthier uh, during this time when you were off, uh, did you focus on uh, some uh, particular aspects of your game when you were developing as a fighter? My game is go and kill, take his heart, nothing more. Okay, and did you regret that you missed the chance to, to fight Leon Edwards when now when you see that he's uh, high in the uh, in the game and maybe you will just skip into the this title contention right away if you fought him? Of course, if if will be I will be happy if they will give me somebody like that. But I think if we win this fight, he he's supposed to fight for the title. He, how many win streak he have? Ten? I don't know. Ten nine. And uh, I respect that. And uh, win this fight, I have to win also one, two, three fights more before the title. Uh, I don't want to jump out the guys and uh, let people talk like this is disrespect and like this. Like, I want to show who I am. I'm going to beat the older guys and top 10, 10 fighters, and I'm going to become champion. Okay, and uh, the media and the fans know you well that you are a brush fighter, you, you talk a lot, but uh, you just uh, mention, mention... I don't talk a lot, you talk a lot, brother. <laughs> okay, so, okay, uh, so, uh, my question is... You, you ask you, me, people ask me, I answer. I this see. is not okay. talk a lot. That's if you good. ask me, I answer. That's why it's my people think I talk a lot. If somebody asks me something, I always answer. I have to, really... Why are you ask me something? Okay. If you don't ask me, guys, I never gonna talk about something. I see. But uh, either way, uh, you just mentioned a few minutes ago that uh, you you obeyed your trainer that you have to to focus on welterweight, staying on this division. So uh, I'm just curious: do your sparring partners and your trainers see totally different Hamzat, more focused, or maybe I don't know, more humble? Don't don't take it as a disrespect. Uh, in the gym and the totally different Hamzat in the media, in the cage. I'm the Hamzat everywhere, but <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but... Yeah, I always do hard sparring in the gym. This is... I like to do, like... My sparring partners, Alex and uh, these guys, I like when guys heavy, when guys stronger than me, and... Uh, Always try, like, you know, like to go in somewhere where, like, if people see, like, you can't win that, but I will try to win this, these things, you know, like, I always change with the guys one minute, one minute, five minutes, five guys. And uh, I like, I like this everything, but I don't know uh, how my coach think, how, how they see. I, that's why I know I'm I'm warrior, I kill you, come here to kill everyone. Okay, thank you. Hamzat. Uh, the fans here in Abu Dhabi are incredibly excited that your return is happening here. What can they look forward to on Saturday night? Uh, just tell them, brother, kill. Yeah. Eat him up, get some meat and maybe 50 Gs, we'll see. <laughs> Um, you've mentioned there um, some higher ranked fighters potentially avoiding a fight with you. What respect have you got for Lee for taking this fight? I respect all my opponents. From that matter, just the take fight is respectful. Because I am, who has in you seen nine fights, nine finishes, nine stoppages, and uh, nobody. I take fight with me. Ms. 11 ranked, I'm, I don't know I'm ranked or not. And I take this fight, this fight and uh, big respect for him. Thanks.